Now, every year we throw away millions of tonnes of old electronics, many of which contain rare metals that could be used again. Now, a company in Bury St Edmunds is mining the valuable elements found in devices, such as mobile phones and computers, in a way that's better for our environment. Matthew Hudson reports. Old cables undergoing processes to recycle the almost pure copper they contain. At Network 2 Supplies, they call it waste mining. The Bury St Edmunds based company recovers valuable materials from huge quantities of electronics like old computers, cables and phones from customers including the NHS and BT. Previous methods all involved heat or chemicals. Here they're making it far more environmentally friendly. We're trying to extract the rare earth metals, we're trying to extract the precious metals and the base metals from components. Uh, but then if we look at the larger parts in N2S, we're stripping down heat sinks which have just copper into a pile of copper, uh, aluminium parts into aluminium, so we separate and then process all of those pieces separately to give us the best yield, but also to have the lowest amount of impact for the environment. Worldwide, we discard around 60 million tonnes of electronics a year. All of it contains valuable metals and other elements. Some metals have been mined almost to exhaustion, making it essential we recover more of it. Some of the recovery work is still done by hand. Some is extremely high-tech, like this machine, which can detect even the tiniest amounts of rare metals in samples. Biochemist Michelle Rigava works in bioleaching, harnessing bacteria which absorbs metal, then using technology to harvest that metal. So here we have our cathode and our copper has been plated onto there. In the solution we have copper sulphate, a certain concentration of copper. And what we're trying to do is actually extract it out of there as a solution into the copper metal and then we can get a copper foil. A natural solution that does no harm. It is a quick process. Uh, we can make the bacteria overnight essentially and once we've made it overnight we can start processing the e-waste and we can actually extract metals from that. And this is something the bacteria have always been doing anyway? Have always been doing. They've done it before we existed. They'll continue to do it after we exist. We've just um, controlled the parameters in a lab setting. Andrew Gomesel is a former England rugby star who now chairs the company set up by his father. He believes the passion of young scientists like Michelle will help find the innovations we need. The next generation, as you say, have got the bug and they will not stand for no. And I really love that and respect that. That sort of youthful exuberance and enthusiasm is, is infectious for us uh, that have been talking about this for a long time. Our society is utterly dependent on technology, digging into the mountains of waste devices all around us rather than mining for minerals which are fast running out would seem to be the only long-term solution. Matthew Hudson, ITV News, in Bury St Edmunds. That has to make a difference, doesn't it? Yeah, hopefully, it's, uh, hopefully so.